Today's challenge is for the 1975 blockbuster movie Jaws. It stars Roy Scheider as the small town sheriff that is trying to keep the constituents safe, especially after a swimmer's body is found, but the mayor will not close down the town because he doesn't want to lose money and cause panic. Today's craft is going to be a tote bag. For my craft, I'm going to decorate a tote bag that I got from Dollar Tree. I'm not exactly what I'm going to use here, but I have some ideas. Dave, do you approve of that picture I picked out? Blink one for yes, two for no. Is that yes? Okay. As I've done away with most of my magazine subscriptions, I had to scrounge around for what I could find. A friend of mine gave me this a few days ago, and I'm going to use this woman here that Dave pointed out, and she is going to be our swimmer, but instead of swimming downwards, she's going to be on her back. I cut her out, and I glued her down to a little paper plate with some of this. Creative Basics all-purpose clear glue and as she's not going to go swimming in her clothes I'm going to have to craft a little bathing suit to put over the top. Here she is with her swimsuit as I'm going to carry this in public and I want to keep it G-rated although I know in the original movie the woman was naked. For her skin color you're thinking gosh it looks a little bit orange well she likes to fake tan. If you're looking at this and wondering why the heck does she have an issue of Country Magazine, ta-da! On the back is a picture of a boat, and I'm going to use that. She's all cut out and ready to float. And I cut out this for the guys in the boat. I realize in the movie the boat was much bigger, but going with what I have. I'm starting with the back side of the tote bag and as there are some strap lines here I'm going to put the shark in between here so I took half a sheet of paper I folded that up to the line and I'm going to fold this in half and then I'm going to try to figure out my proportions for my shark. This is what I ended up with for my shark sketch. I'm going to draw around it in white and then I'm going to start painting it in. I outlined the shark in white and I drew in some teeth and a little bit on the lip. Now I'm going to color him in with some paint. I'm going to mix in some blue temper paint and some gray acrylic paint and some white acrylic paint and I'm going to try to come up with some colors for him and get him colored in. Here is my shark, and now I'm going to work on the water using more blue and white. Probably less gray, and I'm going to be adding some more white to this. To try to get more colors in for the water, instead of mixing everything totally together, I'm swiping the brush across the paints that I've put down and just painting them on. Now that I have the shark and the water painted, I'm going to glue my lady on the top of the water right above the shark, but I'm going to use some industrial strength clear glue for that. Dave is inspecting the now dry bag, and now I'm going to paint the top white. As I wanted a more opaque looking white, before I write Jaws at the top, I decided to mix in some Waverly paint. It's a chalk paint. I'm not sure what color. And then there's this uh, white, snow white apple barrel paint, and I'm using a wider brush. For the other side of the tote bag, I didn't go as heavy on the paint. There's the little guys in the boat. I'm gonna glue that down and I'm going to use this shark sticker. 
On the front, I freehanded Jaws in red. It's got some little touch-ups here where I didn't get the W quite right, so still trying to get that a little bit cleaned up. At the bottom, I had gotten some paint, so I just added some more of the uh, blue tempera paint and a little bit of the white. And I did it on the other side as well, so they'll match. On the back at the top above the boat, I put in a thought bubble in white, circled it in black paint marker, and then put, we're going to need a bigger boat. Zoom out on this here, and then you can see the shark sticker at the bottom, and I also glued him on. I'm now going to seal the bottom with some sparkle Mod Podge, and then at the top I'm going to seal that with some matte Mod Podge. Here is the front of my finished tote bag. And this is the finished bag of the tote bag. Thank you for stopping by and please be sure to check out the other participants in the Summer Movie Challenge. The Summer Movie Series Challenge is hosted by a talented and creative Sue at Discovering the Art of Living. Below is a link to check out her channel.